Greetings, students. Welcome to ENGL 203 Documentary Films. I'm Dr. Melissa Whaler, and I'll be facilitating this course. This video is a brief overview and introduction of myself, my approach to teaching, and the course. First, a little bit about me. I have a PhD in English, and my teaching and research interests have focused on popular culture, the Gothic, performance theory, and celebrity culture. I have been teaching at the college level for over 10 years, and it's my fifth time teaching this particular course. So as you may guess, it's one of my favorites. So a little bit about the course itself. This is a course considered a genre studies course. And essentially what that means, it is a course where the organizing principle is the genre. Now don't get too caught up on the word genre. We'll have an entire semester to unpack that word. What I want us to focus on instead is how we'll be doing this. We'll be analyzing a variety of documentary films in order to define the genre, its major characteristics, and its major themes. As a class, we will analyze not only the content of the films, but their construction. This will include things like scene, composition, narrative structure, lighting, and score. By the end of the term, I want us to work towards creating an argument about the evolution of the genre and its current function and purpose in culture. So some big things on our plate, but I know we're gonna be successful. So sometimes students say, well, why documentary films, Dr. Whaler? Why do I love teaching these so much? Well, first, many contemporary documentary films are about the human condition, and I particularly find that very compelling. These films bring the lives and stories of people to a greater audience and really help us to see similarities and differences across human experiences. Second, I really love that they tend to focus on issues not normally covered by other forms of media, and this makes them really important artifacts of our culture and society. They're essentially snapshots of a particular place, time, and peoples. Finally, I love teaching about this because of the complexity the genre offers. Uh, there's so many great opportunities to dive deeply into very difficult topics. We can ask questions such as, what is the truth and can it be determined? What is the role of human stories in the creation of history? And what is the obligation, if there is one, of art to represent lived experiences? Okay, so we know a little bit about me, we know a little bit about the course. So let's talk about how you can contact me. Throughout the semester, there'll be times where each of you will need to meet with me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, this could be to discuss questions you have, course participation, research assignments, and group projects. As such, it's important that you know that you can get a hold of me and you can stay in touch throughout the term. The best method of contact is by email, and I usually respond within 24 hours on weekdays. Often, if I'm sitting on my computer, though, it is much, much less. You're also able to contact me by calling my office phone, and the number for that is located on my faculty profile page in the course. In that same profile, you'll find my office hours, my office location, and you'll also find a link to my virtual office hours. I offer several virtual office hours throughout the week where you can kind of jump on to our own private virtual space and we can have a chat about anything that you're finding in the course. Okay, I wanna leave us with some points to consider. Um, what are the things you're most interested in talking about? What are some topics you hope we cover? And what are your academic goals for the semester? Please bring some informal answers to class with you and so we can discuss together. All right, future film critics, I'm excited to meet you on Monday evening. We're gonna have an excellent semester together.